Hello and welcome back to the Crochet Corner at Debezy Art. Today I'm going to show you one of the quickest and simplest methods for joining your granny squares together and this stitch is called the whip stitch. Before you begin your work you need to decide which is the right side or the top side of your work and which is the wrong side. So this facing up is the right side. If you turn your work over you will see that this is the wrong side or the back side of your work. If you can see a row of V-shaped stitches down the edge of your work facing up this will always be the right side and the top side of your work. You will need a wide-eyed needle and yarn the colour of your choice. You can either use a contrasting yarn or ideally choose a colour that matches one of the colours of the outside edge of one of your squares. This will help disguise this stitch um, as it's not the prettiest of stitches that you can use for joining the squares. You will need some stitch markers to, you need to find to begin the center stitch of each corner. So we did one, two, three stitches. So you need to find that center second stitch and you can use your stitch marker to mark this stitch or you can use your stitch marker to hold your work together through these centre stitches. Before we begin you need to turn your work so that the two right sides are facing together. Make sure your stitches are lined up through this corner centre stitch we're going to place the needle under one loop only of each stitch. Now each stitch is made up of a back loop and a front loop. So this is on each square you will have a front loop and a back loop. And we are going to go under the front loops, so the two loops that are next to each other, we're going to place our needle under each front loop and pull the yarn through. Leave a tail of yarn for finishing off your work and then through the next two front loops of the next stitch feed your yarn through and carefully work up through every stitch going through those two front loops with your work facing the right sides together. If you're not sure where the stitch is just use your needle tip to wiggle the stitch and make sure that you're going under the right loop. Try and work with as even tension, not too tight and not too loose. As you're working check that your stitches are evenly spaced with even tension. Because this is a demonstration square I'm now going to change and show you the whiplash that goes under both loops of each stitch. So we're going to go under both loops of each stitch. Again try and keep your tension as even as you possibly can, not too tight and not too loose. Again if you're not too sure where your stitch is just gently wiggle you the tip of your needle to make sure you're going into the right stitch. 
you can also use a blanket stitch so if you hold the yarn over to one side place the needle up and under keeping the yarn this side of the needle you'll find that this holds the yarn to the side and creates quite a nice even tidy stitch edge which when I get to the edge of this row I'm going to show you how these stitches will look so keep working along the edges of your squares join from corner stitch to corner stitch and you will continue adding your squares and stitching in this direction and then you would turn your work and work along the top edges so this shows you what your stitches would look like on both the right side and the wrong side this is how they look on the right side as you can see at the bottom is the stitches going through the front loops only the middle section is stitches going under both loops and those top few stitches are the blanket style stitch so that was a very brief tutorial showing you how to join your granny squares with the whip stitch which is the quickest and simplest method for joining your squares in the following videos i will be showing you a variety of other methods for joining your squares i hope you found this video useful if you have please subscribe like and share to support my channel Hope to see you soon. Bye.